what up y'all and welcome back to another one. I left y'all hanging on the last video here at the house. I know, I know, because this is why. Oh yeah, we got the beauty, we got shells, and we got our remote. I know, so a lot of you already seen this. Check it out. Uh-huh. Like I said in the last video, don't be surprised that I'm doing this. I'm a bird hunter. I walked outside, I heard crows, I'm like, Instead of going and sitting way, way back in the back 40, let's just uh, sit them behind the house. So that's what I did. I set all my crow decoys out here in the backyard. Now, it rained all this morning. The ground is saturated, y'all, and it got cold. So the crows this morning, I guarantee you they stayed in their roost all morning long. And I've been seeing them, I've been hearing them, they've been flying all day long. It's sitting right at about 4.30 p.m. I got the collar out there. It's actually underneath the decoy. Oh, it's getting windy. I can't walk out there right now because I don't even have my shoes on, uh-huh. Mama says no shoes in the new house. Yeah, we got this new carpet now. It ain't like the old house. I don't mind Mama's rules, Bobby's in trouble. Now, safety first, guys. I preach gun safety over and over and over as much as I can. And I don't only preach it for you guys, but I preach it as a reminder to myself. Here on the channel, we're handling guns all the time, especially shotguns, and especially a lot of people with shotguns in one little area. You know, if you're in an A-frame with, with eight other guys or something like that. You know what I'm saying, right? Leave it on safety until you need it off. If we do get any crows back here, I'm going to have to be real careful of the shops Basically, I have a shooting lane over here. I got a shooting lane over here. It would be real cool if they would just land and uh, we just Arkansas them. So, let's get after it. <sighs> Alrighty. Uh, let's turn the old shot cam on. We are loaded up on safety. No kids home. Let's get this done. Now, another reason why I'm somewhat confident that, that this might work is that I just opened the door and I heard another one go by. So, let's get it going here. Another reason why I'm confident that it might work is because out in front of the house, there's a dead deer and it's been there forever and the crows found it a long time ago. So they're trafficking to and from it and getting them a bite. Here we go, crow family. I like them crows. Here we go, I'm gonna have to put the GoPro on my head because I don't wanna miss a shot, you know what I'm saying? Here we go, cranking her up. All right, I'm gonna get the GoPro on my head I'm gonna leave the door open a little bit like it is. Like this, so if they come. Oh, here comes one. One right here. He just came this way. Oh, dude, one came from the back. Automatically, one came from the back. All right, I'm gonna have to shut this door a little bit, y'all. Right when I kicked it on, one came from the back. I don't know where he went. Well, the one that was coming, I don't know where he went. He was beelining it straight at us right here. And me swinging open the doors, throwing the camera down, picking up my gun. He's seen that movement. So what I've done, I open up this window so we can see. And I'm leaving the door open. So it won't be any motion when I have to open it. Oh, we got a box out there. That don't look good. This darn wind, I'm telling you what. Look at this, it blew out there. Dadgummit. Kids, toys, everything else out here. Damn, any Christmas. We got crows out here, boys. Golly, get in there. Oh, oh hold up, hold up. Hold. Gotta take them shoes off. Gotta take them shoes off, Bob. Be getting in trouble with mama, like I said, if I don't take them shoes off. Man, the way that first one reacted, I was like, oh, it's game over. This could be one of the most challenging hunts I've ever done. If we get a bird down, man, I'm telling y'all, you all better smash that thumbs up button for me and get this video over 4,000 likes. It's been a long time since I've had a video go over 4,000, y'all. I'm looking. Oh, come on. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, come on back, boy. I see you. I see you. Come back. He's just float. Oh, here he's coming back. Oh, no, he's not. He might just, 
Oh, he's going to go sit in that tree way over there. That tree right there. Oh, he's going to watch. This is what crows do. They'll go post up and wait for movement. That's why you really got to hide when they do that to you. You got to hide because they're checking it out, seeing if it's safe to go. He just got off the branch. Come back, dude. <sighs> this could be so awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> Without even having a bird down yet. This is awesome. Well, having to leave the door open like this. Had to turn on the heel <laughs> fireplace. Ooh. Like I said, we just had a cold front run in today. This morning, actually. Let me tell you what, it just got cold. North wind came back howling. Man, I about forgot old Frederick. Come on, dude. Let's go, Fred. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. All right, all right. I got a plan. I'm not giving up yet. We only got uh, today and tomorrow left of crow hunting season, y'all. So I got an idea. I'm going to move most of these. I'm going to move them up there on the hill and out in the driveway. The reason is, is because, like I said earlier, that dead deer carcass... It's over there across the road. So if I can put some decoys in the line of view, maybe out here, put the call over here, and then I'll stand in the garage door. Maybe, maybe they'll see it a little easier. Maybe I'm just dumb for being out here and all of them are already back in their roost. I don't know. Well, this is the new situation, y'all. Check it out. I moved a bunch of decoys over here. Like I said, that dead deer carcass is over there. Try it out. Hopefully. You just never know. See, what's nice is I can almost stand out here. Ooh, look at this. This is a blind. Ooh, look at this. Where the trash can goes. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking, boys. Now we're talking. Fred, did Jax, get in here, man. Come on, inside. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, Jax. Let's go. Come on. Get in here, dude. Now they can see it. I might actually put some more decoys out in the driveway. Well, I have a feeling I know what happened earlier. The one crow that we seen that came over, he was already in his roost tree back there. They're all back in their roost. Well, tomorrow's the last day of crow hunting. So we're gonna pick up the vlog there. We'll probably pick it up at about 9 a.m. Get my collar here, turn it off. I'm just gonna leave the decoys out right where they sit. That way I don't have to put them out tomorrow, but let's pick it up in the morning. Well, it's the next day, like I promised. Fred, inside. Go on now. Whoo, and it's extra foggy. We still got all the decoys up. And look who's with us. Little Bodie Allen. Tell him hi, Bodie. Hi. <laughs> He said he wanted to hunt with dad today, so he's going to stay in the garage here. But if one comes, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to step way out here and I'm going to take my shot. I hope we can get one down, honestly. Do you hope we get one down, Bodie? Yeah. You've been wanting to hunt with daddy for a while, haven't you? Yeah. He just likes playing in the dirt today, don't you, bub? Yeah. Yeah. Just doing boy things. Go! Well, we just got the e-collar set out there. You ready to turn it on? Yeah. Oh, are you? You want to see if we can get something? Day two. This is the last day of crow hunting here in Kansas, so we got to try it. What do you think, man? Good. Good? <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you, do you think we're going to get one down, bub? Yeah. You think so? You think? I don't know, man. We've had it on for a couple minutes. You know how it goes. The first few minutes are usually the best, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but it sure is fun for Bodie and I, isn't it? You having fun? Yeah. What's that noise, Bodie? The birds are coming. The birds are coming? What, ki what type of noise is that? It's, it's a lot of birds. <laughs> it's a lot of birds? Is it crows? Those are big crows, big black crows. And they go, ow, ow, ow. Maybe we'll put some realistic noise into it, bub. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Does it sound real? Let me know down below. 
my idea was uh, if one comes, old Bodie, I'm just gonna shut the door real quick and shoot. That way, because we don't have any earmuffs on them. We don't have any hearing protection on them. So, that's my plan. Shut the door and shoot. <laughs> old Bodie Allen. You're daddy's boy, aren't you, bub? Yeah. I'm hearing one somewhere. Where are you at? I heard you. Oh! <laughs> Two of them. I missed them. Darn it! <laughs> they came right from there. Oh, I kept hearing them coming. <laughs> what do you think, Bubba? Good. Good? <laughs> uh, just like I said, I closed that door. Oh, I can't believe I missed it! No! <laughs> Darn it! Come on, Bubba, let's go back inside. Come on, try it again. That was probably my only chance. Wasted it! Uh, I don't doubt the fact that I missed that shot. I shouldn't have. It wasn't that bad of a shot, you know. It wasn't that long of a shot, to be honest. Maybe a 40 yarder, maybe 35, 40 yards. That was horrible. But I'm paying attention to my son. Uh, he's riding his bike in here. And with his training wheels, it's real loud. So I'll think I'll hear a crow and then I don't. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Swing and a miss. Well, come on, Freddy. It's like two or three days later. Yep, crow season's done. And we missed out. I didn't get to kill a crow here on the new property. Dad gummit, we were close. We were close. If only I if only I would have been a better shot. <laughs> Story of my life, right? But check it out. There's the old lodge. Uh-huh. Come on, Fred. Let's go, man. Gotta close that door. We got the heater on in here and it feels lovely. I want to let you all know that I have opened up the booking process for the guide service right here, y'all. It's open. It's ready to go. And so the easiest way that I'm telling everybody to go about booking, the easiest way to get a hold of me, the easiest way for me to manage it right now is to shoot me a DM, a direct message on Instagram. Now, if you don't have Instagram, that's fine. I hope you have email. If you wanna email me for rates and details, my email is linked down in the description below. That's where you can find it. So one of two ways, DM on Instagram for rates and details or just email me. But like I said, I can't wait to get you guys in here. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, just like we've been talking about all season long here since we knew that we were gonna get the place is I still, I'm gonna need your guys' help on building this bad boy. We got a lot of interior building to do. And uh, you guys have been giving me some great ideas. A couple of you have, j just put it this way, you all have helped already a ton. So, here in about a week or two, that's when the building process, interior, we're gonna be getting down. Lots of stuff to be done in here. But yes, long time coming. Guide service up and active. Uh, I just booked a uh, group of seven from Alberta, Canada. Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, they are pumped. They're flying in. It's going to be a heck of a trip. Uh, we might have another group from the UK coming. So just insane the amount of interest. It's been crazy. My, my Instagram has been blowing up. Uh, I've been busy just talking to all you guys. So thank you for all the interest. Um, this is in fact an exciting journey in my life. Uh, I finally, I feel like I'm finally here. I'm finally doing it. We're doing it together. I want to thank you all for helping me. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank you all for subscribing. I want to thank uh, my little group out there that's on the notification list. Oh yeah, 
All of you that's hit that little bell down there that gets the notified list, the little notification bell on your phone, thank you, thank you. If you hit that bell, it will in fact notify you when I upload. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm having a ball out here at the new house. Lots of videos to come. If you have a video idea, comment, something you wanna see me do, drop a comment down below and let me know. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that keeps it real